Welcome back to it. It is your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on SABC3 Expresso. Now, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, for short, was reactivated this week after being offline for almost a year. And in 2016, scientists at LIGO observed one something so significant that it won them a Nobel Prize in science, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, we're joined by our resident astronomer, Dr. Dan mm. Kanema, to unpack why all of this is so significant. Great yeah. to have you back with us, Dan. How are you? Good, man. Thank you. Absolutely. So what is it that they uh, observed in 2016 at in LIGO, LIGO? LIGO, yeah. Is it LIGO? LIGO. All right. Yeah, so um, LIGO is it's an incredible instrument. So mm. those, those pipes are four kilometers long each. Mm. Yeah. Um, and they have incredibly powerful lasers shooting down uh, other end, reflecting back on mirrors. And what they're measuring is very minor changes in the distance between those those mirrors. Okay. So what's happening when a gravitational wave passes through the Earth and it passes through you and I and everything else, the actual space distorts. So mm. distances get slightly longer and slightly shorter. Mm. Between objects? No, the objects themselves. Yes, between those, those, yeah. yeah. So you, you get slightly bigger. Yeah. Yes, yes, slightly, yes, that's so what you I mean. get slightly taller, slightly shorter. Yeah. So, so the, the actual, yeah. I think I just felt one. <laughs> you, you, you may have. Um, but yeah, so I mean, they're incredibly precise instruments. And, and, and they can d detect these. So, so where they emanate from are merging black holes. So mm. this is a simulation of, a, of, oh of my merging gosh. black mm. holes. So, so two black holes merge, and then these ripples in space and time spread out through the universe, and we can now detect those. So they were wow. predicted in like 1915 by Einstein. Yeah. It took us just over 100 years wow. to detect them. And wow. in that moment, you are instantly transported to a parallel universe, and in fact, we are in it right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's insane. Oh. But, but, but why did they? Why were they turned on? I mean, off, and then now on back again. I mean, surely not for load shedding purposes. <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. So, um, so when, once this first one was detected in, at the end of 2015 and yeah. announced in 2016, uh, they had a few more detections, uh, five more emerging black holes, mm. and then emerging neutron star. Um, and then af after that, basically, they had proved this instrument. They had proved that they were working, um, and therefore, there was like a huge investment. Yeah. Um, th th these are working, guys. Um, we can do better. Yeah. So they shut down for over a year to do upgrades. So they've upgraded the lasers. They've basically upgraded the sensitivity of the instrument. Mm. So now, in, in, in that one-year run, they detected five merging black holes and emerging neutron yes. star. In the next year, so they're running now from the 1st of April to, to April next year, yeah. uh, they're expecting quite a few more. Yeah. So we may be detecting hundreds of merging black holes mm -hmm. and, and a few more merging neutron stars. How is wow. South Africa involved in all of this? Yeah. So the, the, I mean, that, that's a, a completely, like, the, the merging neutron stars, which, ha which happened at the end of 2017, um, and South Africa was involved in, was like one of the most incredible scientific discoveries that's ever been made. So when these, um, these merging neutron stars uh, form a gravitational wave, instead of black holes where the light can't escape, the merging neutron stars, they emit this massive explosion, which you can see right across the universe. Mm. Um, and if you have telescopes pointing at that, at that point um, and can follow up, um, you can observe this, and that's what happened at the end of 2017. So about 70 observatories around Without the world, including SK. Meerkat, um, SALT, uh, a few other telescopes up in Sutherland, all observed this thing. Mm. And what we saw was the whole progression of, of this merging neutron star. So wow. first the gravitational wave was detected, um, and then you could detect the gamma rays, and, the, and every sort of wavelength was detected all across the, wow. all across the, um, the, the world. And now we're basically preparing for that to happen again. Because wow. it turned back on on Monday, everybody's sitting waiting, waiting for another, <laughs> like, uh, your phone to beep, and basically, yeah. right, everybody go. You can imagine all the scientists wow, huddled over their computers and lab courses waiting for this massive occurrence. Yeah. And the cool thing, LIGO has their own app as well, so yeah. if you're interested in this kind of stuff, uh, go and it. check them out. Dan, thank you very much. Pleasure. Much appreciated.